originally out of Indianapolis, Indiana, now residing here. We're going to go up to our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr., with our official introductions. Go ahead, Jimmy. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go with a heavyweight special attraction in the ring at this time, scheduled for six rounds of boxing. Presenting to you a referee in charge of this bout, we have Vince Delgado. Introducing to you first on my left, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red trunks with black trim, he fights out of Mount Pleasant, Texas. Weighing in at 251 pounds, his record includes two wins, three losses, with both of his wins coming by way of knockout. Welcome a fighter they call Ron the Bear Smith. And his opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the red corner in this six round special attraction, wearing black trunks with white trim, fighting out of Beverly Hills, California. He weighed in at a ready 217 pounds. Here is the former amateur heavyweight champion who is undefeated in his campaign in the ring with four wins, no losses, all four wins coming by way of knockout. Here is the undefeated, relentless, Lehman Brewster. Once again, a referee in charge, Vince Delgado, now to give instructions, six round scheduled bout. You have to instruct in the dressing room. Give me a nice clean fight. Straight down to good luck. All right, if the record is any indication, don't blink. Three of Brewster's starts so far, Kevin, one round knockouts. I brought it the fighter Greg McGee, and now I feel good about Greg's performance. He went two rounds with Brewster before getting stopped. Devastating puncher. Also, very good downstairs, can go to the body, can go to the chin. The one thing about him, he's big and he's strong. And he's showing it. Here's another prospect that we're seeing right now in the ring in front of us. Guy I've been hearing a lot about him, he's making a lot of noise, only 4-0, but making a lot of noise. A lot of people are talking about him. You can see the celebrities in the room that come out to see him. Um, this guy I think we're looking at, maybe the next coming of a Mike Tyson. So I think right now the people are going to watch this guy, this guy is going to blow up. Got former, former NFL star and Olympic gold medalist Willie Galt behind him. He's got everything going for him. Here before the sellout crowd at the Beverly Wilshire Hotel in Beverly Hills, California. I'm Arnie Tokyo Rosenthal along with Kevin Kelly. One thing he's also showing me is that he's another guy. Patience, patience, patience. Um, the amateur experience, I think, is the reason why he has his patience. Um, he has a sense of amateur career, and right now he's using it in the pros and utilizing it. He's taking his time with his man. He's not making anything. Uh, he's not making the unnecessary punches. He's taking his time. He's hitting his man. He's going to make his punches count. Vince Delgado stopping action here for a second to adjust the shorts on Ron Smith. Doesn't want Brewster to be called for, for any unnecessary low blows. Well, pulling the Delada, as we say. <laughs> now we have a gauge stick, I say. You are a stick. Poor Galata. Oh, and a good left and right combination by Brewster. And he's already got Smith back in. Smith's got some decent punching power himself, though. Brewster doesn't want to get careless. He's got two knockouts in his two wins. Brewster, of course, four KOs in all of his. That's Brewster. He's in the black shorts with the white stripe. Ron Smith, he's in the red with the black stripe. Scheduled for six. We're halfway gone in round number one. Well, one thing I would like to find out is uh, I see Brewster keeping his uh, left hand a little low. I'd like to find out later on down the road is that going to be detrimental to him because that can hurt you or help you. Um, he's keeping it very low when he's fighting a better fighter. He's got a good jab. It could, it could be working against you. It could be a negative. And um, right now he looks very relaxed, very confident, very poised. But I have questions about the left hand being lost. Has an opportunity to fight before his adopted hometown crowd here tonight in Beverly Hills. Originally out of Indianapolis, as we mentioned. Had a spectacular amateur career. I'll tell you, he's looking very good here, very sharp. I think I'd like to see the jab utilized a little bit more from the man from Brewster um, to get his well finished. He's very patient, but a little too calm here. Well, I think a lot of times what happens too, you come before that hometown crowd, you're a little distracted. Well, the energy Sometimes you want it to go a few extra rounds too. He knows he's got he's on television right now on the explosion. Scheduled for six. Maybe he wants to get a little bit of work in. Well, definitely, definitely. All new fighters need that. I mean, he's out, he's four on four knockouts. Obviously, he hasn't win any anything past the second round. So he needs this work, and it, it will do him well. It will do him well. Ten seconds to go in round number one. Sort of a feeling out round. As we mentioned, 
again, patience been the key word tonight on Explosion, and Bruce is showing plenty of it here in round number one as we come to the close. And ladies and gentlemen, folks, we're happy to introduce you at this time. First, we have some gentlemen from the Raiders. Please welcome with us here tonight, Rory In the Ray. corner with Ron Smith. Jeff Brown. Came in at 51 rounds, only breathing heavy after one round. We're going to have the Raiders here tonight. And ladies and gentlemen, for Lady Ray, for Lady the Bulls as well, please welcome Orlando Woolridge. In the corner with David Brewster, Bill Slate, the world renowned trainer, Some kind of smoker, famous right? for Kevin, excuse me, for Ken Norton, near CL recording artist. Round number two, we're scheduled for six. Star-studded crowd here. We just saw Seal between rounds. The Jacksons here on the hill. This is, we have other guys in the room see each other. I tell you, these, the people coming out to see Lamar Brewster. Oh, Brewster really starting to open up right now. Work now, Ronnie. They're doing a very good job. Between promoter Cedric Kushner, management of Willie Gaw. Moving the young Brewster along. There you go. But he's got to be Ronnie. careful not to be careless here. Smith's got some punching power. He's got a 35 pound weight advantage. Knockdown. 
who just pulled that nice short left hook. And you know that guy's got great punching power when he only has to throw it that four to six inches. Well, that's the Joe Lewis, the Joe Lewis dream. Four to six, four to six inch punch, and the down second, he goes. And the second knockdown came, left hook, right uppercut. Round number three. And we were talking between rounds. Now, Lehman Brewster didn't get sucked into that confrontation as Smith pushed him at the end of the round. Smith, that, that was the best punch that Smith used thus far in the fight, was the shove at the end oh, of the second round. Punch. I guess it, he think it helped him. I think he wanted to get Brewster up around and get him out of his game plan, but it didn't work. And that's what's good about Brewster. Giving him his just due over there, tell him, really good. Well, he has no choice. He's a very good fighter, Lamar Bruce. You can see a lot of talent there, a lot of potential to be another great heavyweight. This is heavyweight explosion at its best. Look at it, it's incredible. And again, we're seeing some things here tonight on the explosion. It's early in our year. 19 for our first show of 1997, Kevin, but we're getting to see a young fighter like Lehman Brewster. We're seeing I got to be a butcher. We're going to see a hot off team. And it, it, it would be really interesting to predict right now, and I'm going to probably push into some of this stuff and myself, where they're going to be at the end of the year. Lehman Brewster only turned pro in November. He's 5-0 at this point right now. How much they're gonna move him before the year is out? And you kept saying it's one of the his first And I heard you, but you know, the only reason I ain't doing it. You know, we'll be at 10 rounds by the end of the year as we take a look again here at the final knockdown. Coming in round three. Beautiful left hook. Incredible punch. Incredible punch. I mean, I talked to Willie Gold. Willie actually wants to fight, fight him twice a month. Well, I, I agree with that. When I first was up and coming, I did the same thing. The more active you keep your fighter, the best he is. All right. We're going to go up to Jimmy Lennon Jr. with the official time of the knockdown. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout has been stopped at 30 seconds of round number three. A referee in charge, Vince Delgado, calls a halt to the contest. He's the winner by way of knockout, still undefeated at 5-0 and with five knockouts. Relentless, Lehman Brewster. Lehman Brewster kneels down, thanks God. But he should also thank that left hook. Five wins, five knockouts. All coming in a very short time in a pro career that just started this past November 8th, 1996. We're here in the first show in 97 on the explosion. And, and Lehman, you know, didn't overplay to the crowd, Kevin. Just kind of taking it a little bit laid back. Somewhat like it's expected. I'll tell you, he's very, he's very good. A good puncher, good boxing ability at all times. Very patient. Shows a lot of things early in his career. I'll tell you, keep showing that. We got a definite prospect for heavyweight title one day. And they're going to move along right. And, a, and again, very much like Guy Guy Biabucci, looking to see what will happen when he goes into the distance. But I know Bob Spagnola's got him up there. And we're going to hear a little bit about what he thought of his performance. Take it away, Spag. I'm here with Bad Company, Layman Brewster. Great performance in the front of his hometown. How's it feel? It's great. It's really great. I hope that I gave the crowd what they wanted. And they'll come back and see me again. Not too many fighters out of Beverly Hills. No, nah, well, you know. Got to start somewhere. Maybe I'll be the first of many. No, oh, that's a great hook. Listen, you really showed good patience here tonight. He's a strong kid, awkward, but, you know, he had death on everything he threw, and yeah. uh, you got, we're getting under it and taking your time. Beautiful short left hooks to start and finish it. Thank you, thank you. That's something that we've been working on. You know, a lot of, a lot of guys, uh, I guess you would say rookies like me, who just start as professionals. They come out and they have a lot of energy and be wild, but, you know, I've, I've really been trying to be mindful of that when I come into the ring so that I could be pace myself and make him make mistakes and counter. Yeah, excellent performance. I don't think you disappointed anybody. Look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Back to you, Arnie. All right. Thanks, Bob. And again, Lehman Brewster improving the 5-0. and We're coming tonight from the Beverly Wilshire Hotel in Beverly Hills, California. Big crowd here tonight. Star-studded crowd. I got to tell you, Kevin, and I lived in L.A. for over 10 years, and I never, we never had a fight in Beverly Hills before. 
and uh, they did a this is a tremendously successful promotion here tonight and uh, yes. I mean I feel like running around with an autograph pad here too I oh, mean, some of the people in the crowd here tonight. Oh we got stars, we got stars, we got the star from uh, Malcolm and Eddie here, we have Pete Will, oh this is great, Monty 